All right, real quick here to go over some Oculus Rift settings for a gentleman. Let's pull this down in here. All right. So, go to Documents. Go to iRacing. Where's iRacing? iRacing. And go to your Render DX11. Uh, went to my other screen. I'll bring it back in here. All right. So you went to Documents, iRacing, you scroll down to Oculus Rift right here. And these are my current settings, pixels per display, 183. Now I think the default is 116. You'll have to see what your particular, um, what your computer's uh, capable of. Uh, I'm running an 8700K overclocked and a GTX 1080. So if you're running something similar, you may be able to get something similar, but I don't believe most people can get 183, but you'll have to uh, play with that because that's uh, all dependent on your uh, on your particular PC. So I'd say most people are around 125, okay? So you got that, the render DX11. So that's my settings right there, as you can see in Oculus Rift. All right, so the next thing I will show you and probably you should have the about the same exact thing um, bringing up the Nvidia control panel so you can see what I have so you click on the Nvidia control panel you if you if you have a GTX and I think the person asking does have a GTX so uh, once you get here you go to your manage 3d settings All right, and these are what I have mine set at. And instead of reading it out to you, I'll just go slowly so you can uh, see what I have. So I'll leave it here for a couple of seconds and then I'll scroll down. And of course, you can always uh, pause the screen. And we'll move down to the second page. The big thing here is uh, right here, you want this texture filtering quality at high quality. Your options will be quality, high quality performance, and high performance. Put it at high quality, no matter what cards you have. And moving down, and that's it. So, the Direct X11, the render from Documents iRacing, and then that, uh, the render DX11, and then you have the NVIDIA control panel here, and now I'll open up my actual iRacing so you can see what I have my graphic settings at. The biggest thing is that pixels per display, you're going to need to uh, adjust that to your computer's personal uh, power, I guess, would be the word I'm looking for. Now I'm going to open this up, uh, not inside the Rift, but uh, these are my my settings. So let's go. It doesn't matter what I do. We'll just do what time is one forty. Uh, I'll just open up a practice session. Go into it. Ah. <sighs> And then I'll show you what my settings are uh, for racing. And then uh, that's what I get. I get 90 frames per second. So. I get 90 frames per second with my current settings. Uh, that pixel per display though, it's probably doubtful that you can pull it at 180, 183 pixel density. But you may, if you have something similar to an 8700K overclocked, uh, I'd say if you're overclocked anywhere from 4.8 to 5.3, then you can use your pixel density that high. Uh, many people say that uh, you don't need it that high, it doesn't make a difference, but that's just what I have and I keep 90 frames per second 
Okay. Obviously, you're seeing more frames per second here because I didn't open this inside of my Oculus Rift. But uh, let me just take a look at my graphic settings. This is what I have it set at. So you can take a look there. That's when I have it all set up. And again, this was for a, a gentleman who said they couldn't quite get their uh, stuff right. So the three things you need to look at, or just like I, I said, you're going to go documents, iRacing, and then look for your render DX11. You'll scroll down to the Oculus Rift. And uh, those were my settings there that you saw, the PP, uh, the pixel per density. And then you go into your NVIDIA control settings. And I uh, click on manage 3D. And of course, you saw that if you're missing it now, uh, just, just scroll back on this. I'm posting this to YouTube. And you'll see my settings there. And of course, here are my settings here. Now, you may also see that I have far terrain and two pass trees unchecked. Uh, that's mostly because I am an oval driver. So I don't really need to see the scenery. So that's why I have that checked as so. Also, I have shadow maps off because they're distracting to me. Uh, you could put those on. They will use a little more uh, power as well. So, But uh, that should do it.